Oh, look at that wonderful juiciness. Oh, wow. it's oozy. That smoke ring is unmatched. The flavor, I can tell, is just about to jump right into our taste buds. Literally, the fattiness, the glistening, the oily. barbecue smells are incredible. It's looking wonderful. Welcome back, Big Time Eaters. And today, we have one of the biggest time reviews for you guys. We are at Cadillac Barbecue out here in Dallas, Texas. And guys, let me tell you this. It smells so good. Like I could just like put my yeah, whole face in. Incredible. It's smelling wonderful right now. The smokiness, right it's like you're, you're right in the smoker there. Oh my gosh, the flavors are, oh man. I can't wait to just dive right in, man. Same. We've got everything that they had to offer. They even had some specials. So we got to dive right in. So we are here in Dallas, Texas, Central Texas, where they are known for using select oak wood, smoking their meats low and slow. They got smokers out back that we'll show you in the B-roll. And guys, they take their time with it. They do it right. Low and slow Texas barbecue, focus on getting that smoke flavor infused in the meats, as you can tell with the meat selection that we've got here. And the highlights of the meats are the beef rib, the brisket, as well as the smoked sausages. So cannot miss out on those. Yeah, so let's get into what we have here to show you guys. So we have the big beef pastrami. It is a bone, it, 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 it's huge, a monster. Huge beef rib yeah. that they did it the pastrami way. We also got their standard beef rib here on the side here, but man, the pastrami is calling my name. Definitely. Got the brisket, the burnt ends over here on the That's inside. Burnt ends. They got, they got the actual crack rings on the top of the pulled yeah. pork. And what's Sweet. special about the pulled pork as well is that it's from a whole hog. It's whole hog pulled pork. So yeah. they smoke the whole hog together and then they shred it all up and that's what you get here. Indubitably. And then they also have two sausages. We opted in for two different kinds. We got the regular original kind. Uh, it should have some mild spice to it. And then we also got the Texan. The spicy, the spicy Texan. spicy Texan yeah. one over there as And well. then some smoked turkey right here. And then of course, cannot forget about the pork ribs. Along the side here, We've got what they call the Todd Father. Yep. What's on this one? Again? So we got the Todd Father. It is a brisket sandwich with pulled pork as well as pickles and, and some. Uh, it looks like sausage there too. Some sausage has everything in there. And then their sides. We got their Mama Jean's greens. They call it greens. The cornbread, mac and cheese, and coleslaw. And you could not forget about a Texas barbecue classic. Banana their banana pudding. pudding. Guys, we gotta hop into this meat before it gets cold. Yeah, definitely. Let's go. Where should we start? This. <laughs> that rib, that pastrami. Yeah. Look, it's about to fall off. Let's Look just at let that. it. It literally let's just let, falls off the bone. Let's let it fall off. Oh, it's just falling apart right off of the bone. Look at that. <laughs> Peeling off the whole bone. I don't know if it'll come off all the way. I'm Maybe gotta, go I'm gonna go primal. I just want to go in for a bite. You want to get a piece right there, bro? You you can't take the best bite. <laughs> I'll get the bite, you get that in, okay? <laughs> all right, all right. Take a bite and I'll take a bite. Ready? Oh my, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> that just falls right off of the bone. Oh, wow. Mm. Guys. Wow. <laughs> the flavorness, the smokiness, wow. mm. the spices. Oh my gosh. You can tell they definitely take their time on that. It is a wonderful bite. So much juice, so much flavor. Oh my gosh, I don't know what else to say. I've Guys, actually had a loss of words. It just melts away, almost no resistance. That smoky flavor is intense. And those pastrami spices will give it a nice peppery bark on the outside. You can right. taste the wood. Oh. Look at that. It just falls apart. Falls apart if you pull on it. Almost no resistance. So wow. juicy. Literally melts in your mouth like butter. Wow. I can't believe it's not butter. Moving on, let's go in for those sausages. Let's definitely give one of these sausages a try. That big smoked sausage. Hey guys, I don't know if this is the mild or the spicy, but let's give it a go. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> the juice. I think that's a spicy sausage. Oh my gosh, there's that little kick, but the juices, wow. it is the juiciest piece of sausage I've ever had in my mouth. <laughs> Pause. Wow. A little bit of that smoky kick, and that pork just melts in there. Wow, incredible. Mm. Let's give this other sausage a go. And guys, while we're trying this sausage, I just want to talk about our experience a little bit leading up to getting to this table. Guys, it's just like 
you can feel the Texas family vibes as you're waiting in line. You're just in the alleyway with everyone else. They even say it's bring, bring your own beer. Yeah. People are just drinking. It's like a big family barbecue, guys. It's literally like a cookout on the side of this restaurant. Cheers. Okay. That's the oh. That's definitely I that was definitely the spicy one, the other one. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow. Wow, the juices. That saltiness. Oh the, the fattiness, the grease. Oh my gosh, guys. Just gotta follow it up with one of their house made pickles. That is a perfect pair of, to cut through all that fattiness and the juiciness. Mm -hmm. So you can go back in for another bite. Definitely, you get that little pickle, the pickle of acidity, that tartness, the sourness from the pickle, the briny taste. Uh, definitely helps cut it down to bit. Wow. Oh, I'm trying to resist not eating wow. everything. Go for a rib? Yes. Seriously. Look at that. Look at that smoke ring on the rib, guys. You can see the pink outside. That means they have done their job well. And these ribs just look like the ultimate meaty bite. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Wow. Almost no resistance on that. It's just falling. Literally falls off the bone. Look at that. Oh, Such good smoky so flavor. Good. Wow. We got an order of their burnt ends. Ultimate, that is the ultimate smoky flavor that we can get. We we'll go for that. He's right there. Look how fatty, that beef belly. Cheers. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. This is why burnt ends are my absolute favorite. You get that smoky shard. Mm. That sweetness. That sweetness, yeah. Wow. So good, and it's just the fattiest piece. I have to go in for one more. Look at how fatty and juicy that is, guys. Literally oozing. <laughs> All right, let's go in for the next. This is that whole hog barbecue pulled pork served up with the chicharrones on the top. The fried crispy pork skin. Wow. Cheers. Cheers. Look at that. Mm. Wow. Cool. You get that crunch from the, the, the chicharroni. Mm. Oh my gosh. And then the pulled pork. So savory, so nice. Mm. You know nice pairing. Perfect pairing with that is going to be this coleslaw. I'm going to stick a fork in that. Get a little bit of that coleslaw. Vinegar based. Mm. Yeah, you got to give that a go. That is perfect with the pulled pork. Wow. Oh my God. That coleslaw, it's so nice and light, uh, or that vinegar style. That right? subtle sweetness, that mustard seed in there, you can see. Yeah, so, it's like the perfect amount of sweetness. It's just barely enough to be like, okay, after all the savoriness, I take that bite, yeah. and it just resets me back so I can keep eating more of the Yep, thing. breaks through that all mat. that fatty flavor. We got to try it. They're hatch chili mac and cheese. Let's go in for some shells. Cheers, shall we? Cheers. Does it go any deeper than that? Oh yeah, that's smoky. That flavor, yeah. it is so rich and creamy, guys. Oh my gosh. The creamy. only thing that can match the richness and the creaminess is all this fatty meat that is in front of you laid out. And of course, we cannot forget about Mama Jean's greens. Cannot forget the collard greens. That is like the one type of greens. Collard greens and coleslaw is like this one type it of greens I can actually eat. Type of vegetables I will go for. I will die for these vegetables. I'll put my life on the line for Whoa. Pakistan and these vegetables. Wow. Oh. Oh, yeah. In incredible. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> okay, it's All right, let's go for that smoked turkey. So, and yeah. guys, I'm always amazed at turkey that is able to be kept so moist, especially after sitting in a smoker. Yeah. Oh, it's juicy. You can just feel it. Oh. Wow, that has got to be some of the juiciest turkey I've ever had. One of the best turkeys I've ever had, honestly. Not dry whatsoever. Wow. You need, look, that turkey right there, you need to tell your mom, your grandma, tell your whole family, if you're gonna do Thanksgiving, make sure you have that kind of juice. Yeah, that smoke, that juiciness, uh, unmatched. Now, oh yeah. We got now, it. we cannot forget about this sandwich. We could just do bite for bite. You go ahead. Yeah, the all right. Let's go. Check that out, guys. A wonderful array. The holy trinity on here the pulled pork, the brisket, and the sausage. Gotta go in. There's a reason they call it the Todd Farm, you guys. I'll tell you that. I unhinge the jaw for this one. Oh, wow. The juices 
just run down your elbow. You literally oozing. Here we go. When you bring everything together, it just works. Wow. It just all goes together. Hit another pickle reset. Mm. Robin needs some napkins now. Guys, I think I broke my jaw. That bite was so good. Yeah. I had to open all yeah, of it. Yeah, unhinge. Bite it. You get every single flavor going on in there. There is so much happening in that sandwich. Wow. The sausages from the brisket to the pulled pork, it is amazing. And of course, it's topped up with the coleslaw. It brings that nice level of acidity. Bring it back to reality because you got this much fatty richness. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of sweetness on top of that as well from that. All right, what do we got over here? The fatty brisket and the lean brisket. We got to give it a go. Oh, no. look at that. It just falls apart. Cheers. Cheers. And guys, mm. wow. Oh my God. Wow. I just don't know what to do with my life anymore. It's so good. I just want to move in this. <laughs> I want to move into the restaurant yeah. guys, forever and ever. The thing is about it too, is it's just, it's really simplistic, but those flavors are allowed to shine from that salt and the pepper and the hours of smoke mm -hmm. just permeating throughout the meat. Mm. Look at this T-Rex bone. Look at that. I feel like dinosaur. the only right way to go about it is just to take the big bite of it. Yeah, go ahead. One more look. Cheers. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'll go for a bite as well. The saltiness. Oh my yeah. gosh. The smokiness. Wow. Those hours and hours time that is spent in the smoker, you can tell. It is tasting like father time. Wow. That's what it's tasting like, definitely. And one thing that you guys have noticed, we have not put a single smidge of barbecue sauce on any of these. At all. The pit master came out and talked to us. He says when he sees people put barbecue sauce all over their barbecue, they don't realize what you're eating. And guys, it is not needed at all. Let that smokiness, that saltiness, those peppery flavors Bring you away, make you ascend. Make you ascend. All right, we gotta try their house special cornbread. This is a special today. And it looks like there's little bits of corn actually infused. Oh yeah. That's how you know it's a good cornbread. Wow. Mm. Wow. Got the chili. Like cheesiness, the sweetness from that corn. Nice, fluffy, cheesiness oh. bite from the corn. And also there's a little bit of a chili taste yeah. too. It is wonderful cornbread. Wow. Definitely on the savory side, but still a little bit of sweetness on it. Speaking of sweetness, I'm gonna try it. Actually, I need to get another piece of this brisket. Never mind. <laughs> Ignore me. Yeah, to finish everything off, ladies and gentlemen, we have banana pudding. Banana pudding. Let's uh let's get a scoop with the wafer. You can't forget yep, to have with that vanilla wafer on there. Alright guys, let's tie everything together with some dessert. Oh. Wow. Nice way to finish it. Nice banana taste. Oh my gosh, the sweetness is literally like the icing on the beef cake. Yeah. It just finishes everything off so well. Sweetness, that creaminess, it just is a perfect way to end off an immaculate barbecue meat meal. This is this is a lot of food, so we're gonna need our time. But in the meantime, let's give you guys a review. Let's get into the BTE rating. Starting with B. How big was everything? How are the portions? How was the price? Guys, as you can tell, it is a big mother This is so huge. You get your portions for sure. As far as price goes, we paid a total of 240 for everything that we had on all these dishes, right? And if you're averaging about like 30 something, you're in that 30 something range per pound. 30, I'd say 20 to 35, depending on the sides and meats you get. Yeah, per pound on it. So um, definitely it's, it's up there in price, which is, a good thing for what you're getting for sure. You're paying for the expertise and the time they take. Speaking of time, moving into tea, the timeliness and service. Guys, this is one of those once in a lifetime experiences. For those of you who haven't been to Texas, yeah. like for you to find out what Texas barbecue is like. Like I said, mentioned earlier, you stand out in an alleyway, you see all these Texas barbecue icons plastered on the wall, murals of people that inspired the pitmaster here at Cadillacs. As far as the service, everyone was friendly. Once you finally get to the front, you just tell them what you want. They load you up on a, on a lunch tray platter, like a cafeteria, and they get you in and out. And, and just to double down on that timeliness and service, right? Guys, it is basically like Southern hospitality here. They are yeah. so friendly. 
so kind. They came, they come and check on you, uh, even at the front too. Everyone is just smile on their face the whole time. Yeah. Definitely a wonderful experience. And moving on to the E, how did everything taste? Nice. Guys, as you can tell by our reactions, it's exceptional. Was above and beyond, we ascended here for sure. Oh, absolutely. This is at the upper echelon of barbecue, as you can tell. Did not disappoint. Wonderful experience, guys. There's something that is truly special about just consuming massive amounts of, of meat. meat that has been smoked and salted. Oh my gosh, it's incredible, guys. Words oh. can't put it into can't put it into picture. This is an experience you must try. So, with all that being said, I think we know what we're gonna give this. I think, I think we, we know what we're gonna give this. One, One two, two, three. Ten out of ten, guys. Right. That is truly deserved. This is an experience. This will ascend your taste buds beyond anything. Texas barbecue is something else, guys. For people that have never been to Texas before and have the Texas style barbecue, this has truly been an eye-opening, a mouth-watering experience for me. Definitely, it's so tantalized. My taste buds are doing jumping jacks as we speak. And we're gonna need some alone time with all this because this is not gonna make it back on the airplane for sure. Oh no. We will catch you guys in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, subscribe for more content, and we're gonna continue on the Dallas Food Tour. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Catch you later.